My next guest here is a longtime gun supporter from Texas. She is Susanna Grasha Hupp. She believes she could have saved her parents' lives if only she had not left her gun in the car. This was more than 20 years ago when she took her parents to Luby's Cafeteria. This is back in Killeen, Texas. A man ra rammed his pickup into this cafeteria open fire, killing almost two dozen people, including Susanna's parents. I want to welcome her. She is former Texas State Representative Susanna Grasha Hupp, joining me now from Austin, Texas, wrote a book called Thank You, from, Thank you from Lubies to the Legislature, One Woman's Fight Against Gun Control. So Susanna, welcome. I just want to hear more about what happened back in 1991. Take me inside this cafeteria. This gunman starts shooting. Your mother and father get, are killed you felt hope, helpless and hopeless, I imagine. Well, it was extremely frustrating. Um, I used to carry a gun, and at that time it was illegal in the state of Texas, but I was convinced to carry one by an assistant DA in the Houston area who told me, you know, he said, Susanna, you don't see this stuff every day, but I do. So I carried one illegally for a number of years. Uh, my parents and I were at this local cafeteria in the middle of a beautiful day. Hmm. Um, this man drove his truck through a window and very methodically began executing people. But a few months earlier, I had begun leaving my gun in my car because I was worried about losing my license to practice chiropractic. Hmm. A number of people, a number of victims had left their guns in their car that day. But of course, now we have changed that law in Texas and we can protect ourselves. We brought you on, of course, because of what happened uh, in Colleen, but also because of Newtown. And we heard from the NRA today. Uh, you know, Wayne LaPierre says, let's put guns in every school. I read that you have two small children. You say, yes, let's arm the teachers uh, or perhaps have an armed guard in each of these schools. My question then to you would be, are, are you not afraid that that would lead to more violence? Oh, heavens. Well, first of all, let me correct you. I don't have two small children. I've got two big boys two, that are in high boys. school, but I just picked them up. Yes, and they would be just as vulnerable as the kindergartners. Um, I have firmly held that our teachers should be allowed to carry, and quite frankly, it frustrates the heck out of me that everyone here in Texas and in many states can protect themselves if they jump through the hoops and get a concealed carry permit. Why is it that my teachers are being treated like second-class citizens? But, but what if the creeps, teacher's job is to teach? Creeps. What if the teacher doesn't want to be armed? What if you have an armed guard? As I was oh, reading absolutely. back in Columbine, as I was reading absolutely. back in Columbine, there was an armed guard. Just logistically speaking, what if that guard isn't at the right place at the right time and isn't there and can't prevent That's, the shooting? You're making my argument for me. How, That's how exactly is that? why people who. That's exactly why people who want to be able to carry should be able to carry. I didn't say arm every teacher. I said anyone who wants to jump through the hoops and get a concealed carry permit should be able to and, and use it or carry it on campus. Let me, let me make something or point something out that's just so painfully obvious to me. Where do all these mass shootings occur? These creeps go to places where they know they can shoot people like fish in a barrel. These mass shootings don't occur at gun shows, the dreaded gun show that I keep hearing so much about. They go to places where they can shoot people like fish in a barrel until the cops, bless their hearts, finally arrive. Well, let's talk about then some, some of the, the weapons that, that this is happening when we look at the theaters, as you point out, the, you know, these softer targets. We look at schools uh, and we talk about these specific weapons um, that, that perhaps may be, may be banned. We know that the president is assigned as vice president to come up with some proposals in a month, possibly in yeah. terms of gun control. And, and I know there are people, there are people, there are so very much so two, two sides of the story, but there are people saying ban the assault weapons, some going as far as saying ban the semi-automatic weapons. Um, why, why do you think this society needs to have weapons that, that should be just used on the battlefield? Well, let's clarify, because I think, I think people out there that are listening to this should understand something. Assault weapons is a made-up term. In fact, I think what it does is it leads people to think of a rapid-fire machine gun type of weapon. And in fact, I know a number of reporters uh, that have spoken with me believe that very but thing. Don't they fire those multiple fi bullets rapid-fire? Rapid fire? No. No. And that's, see, even you Dozen, didn't know. Dozens a, of bullets a, per minute? These fire, are the numbers that I've seen. The rapid fire weapons have been banned in this country. They are illegal and have been banned since the 1930s. So this assault weapons, look it up. 
the assault I, weapons I, with, that they I made have, up with all due respect, and you look at AR-15s, and you hear from people like Christiane Amanpour, who says these are military-style no. weapons. These are weapons that she's seen in wars and conflicts like no. Sarajevo. And you talk to people, oh, and yeah. they say, you, why should they be used in, conflict, in Aurora but it is and not Oregon a fire and here in, in, in Newtown? It is not. You are you are misinformed. I'm just presenting. It's not it my. It's not. I'm not weapon. opining. It's just other people's perspective, and we wanted to bring you on to explain just why these type of okay. weapons, whatever you want to call them, why we need to have them in this society. Why we need to have a semi-automatic or a revolver because that's put in place so that people can defend themselves from bad guys. And what you are trying to do, or, or let me rephrase this, what, what the general media is trying to do is lead people to believe that this made-up term assault weapons refers to things that are on the street or are used in these, uh, these mass shootings, and they're not. With all due respect, Rapid I am a part of the, the media, been, and I'm not trying to lead anyone to believe anything. I'm just trying to get the facts, and we wanted to bring you on. Let me, let me ask you about this, because uh, part, okay. of what, what, part of what Wayne LaPierre didn't mention, he didn't mention the, the gun show loopholes. He didn't mention these massive ammo clips. When you look at the polls, the most recent CNN Opinion Research poll, if you do the math, basically more than 70% of Americans favor some sort of restrictions, right? So you have major, you have minor. My question to you would be, do, do, you, or do you support any kind of any kind of restriction any kind of restriction well sure. I, I ammo background checks are, any of it i restrict i support the restrictions that are currently in place with the exception of restricting the areas that you can carry a weapon and i will say again that the restrictions that are currently in place include rapid fire weapons those have been illegal in this country since the 1930s that's why I don't like that term, assault weapon. It's a made-up term that misleads people. Susanna Grashahup, we just wanted you on to have your perspective, and I'm glad you shared it. Thank, Thank you so you. much.